Hello everybody, this is Master Jiao. We're going to review of the vintage G.I. Joe figures. Today we're looking at 1990 Bullhorn. Bullhorn, he is a negotiator in the G.I. Joe team. And also, he is the most popular figure in that year. Why? Because he has one coolest accessory, that is his backpack. And inside his backpack, there is three-piece rifle gun. Yes, you can assemble those rifle guns together. So it is very cool looking. And also, he has a lot of beautiful accessories. So we will dip into this figure later on. And this figure didn't make any comic books appearance, but he made his animated appearance in the episode number six, Dick Animated. And inside of there, we know that there are a lot of people make their first appearance, like Metalhead, like Savile. All right, so before we look at this figure, let's read his file card to get information about this guy. All right, so here is a file card of Bullhorn. His call name is Bullhorn, and also uh, he is an intervention specialist. His file name is Farrar Stephan, and his primary military specialty is uh, intervention specialist. And also he's a hostage negotiator. His secondary military specialty is armor. His first place is Providence, Rhode Island. We know that Rhode Island located on the northeast of America, and also this place is the smallest state, United States. And here, Bullhorn is an extremely calm individual possessing an open and compassionate personality. He exactly the type of person needed to negotiate with wackos and fanatics who have acts to grind the society. Of course, that's the same Steely Kunis also come in handy when he is forced to take decisive action that requires an accurate and lethal delivery of firepower. And everybody is willing to talk to Bullhorn, and why shouldn't they? Because he has the look of a queer boy and is good listener. And this guy has more funnies than the sleekest diplomat, using this to convince their adversary that he is actually cares about their problem. And that's when they discover the folly of messing with a former hand handed comedy structure from Quantico, who is also a contender for national practical pistol title. So this is a very cool guy. And also, let's look at the figure here. All right, so this is Bullhorn. He has lots of accessories on him. Let's see them each next to it. First is this rifle gun. Okay, this gun is a very popular rifle gun in Austria, and it is began to use this gun from 1978. This gun's name is Steyr Og. And also, when we play the Counter-Strike the game, we can also see this gun in the game. Okay, this gun, why this gun is popular? Because the effective range of this gun is 900 feet, and the maximum range of this gun is 9,000 feet. So it can be a, a sniper rifle, and also it can shoot very close range. And the one minute, this gun can shoot out 750 per minute. So it is a very detailed molded Steyr Ock gun. All right, so next accessory is this bullhorn. And this bullhorn is very interesting. It is a two-piece. You can separate from here. And also here is the cone. And the back part is a gun. It is a gas gun. We can read from his file card. Okay. Connect together. It is a very cool accessory and also very detail molded. Okay, the next accessory is this gas mask. Because he's shooting out some gas, right? So he needs to have this gas mask. And the texture is very soft. It can either wear in this way, showing his face, or just put it down like this. And the next accessory is the coolest backpack. We can see it is very detail molded. I really wish uh, Destro has one of these because he's a, a guy with all of a lot of high-tech weapons, but he didn't have one of these briefcase or backpack. And here are some details. It's like uh, you can press in some code to open up this briefcase. All right, here, we open it up. We can see inside of there, there is three pieces. You can assemble them together into a rifle gun. All right, let's do that. Each next two. So first is this two-piece, okay, and also there is a hole on top of there is for the scope. It is a very cool piece of rifle gun. Okay, and also each part can store in this backpack very securely. Like this is the scope, we can put it here. And this is the front part of the gun. We can just put it here. And also, the back part of the gun, we can put it here. You can see there very securely. It is a very cool weapon. Actually, it is a, one of the coolest accessories in the year 1990. And also, you can wear it in his back. 
Right, so let's look at the figure here. And his face, there are some tattoos there, or a camouflage, a paint on his face. I feel this guy is an Indian too. We know that there are several Indians in the G.I. Joe team. Like there's Airborne, and also there is uh, Spirit. So this may be the third guy, Indian. And he's very cool. And also this painting just matches the paintings here on his lower leg. And on his chest, there are four grenades. There are two pockets you can put in some uh, ammunition setup. And also on his belt, there are two small pouches here. And also in his front of his leg, there is a holster for the gun. We know that this is a sp special position for him. Maybe he's a driver, so when he's driving the vehicle, he still can take this pistol. We know that he is one of the title pistol champion. So uh, he's a very cool guy. And a very skillful with these little pistols. Let's see the articulation. So his head can go back and forth. Can go left to right. Can also can tilt a little bit. And also the arm can turn around, no problem. And here, elbow bend, and also can swivel. And also torso can turn around because there is O-ring instead of there. And also can tilt to the side. And also his leg can lift up and also knee bend down, no problem. So let's put on accessories. So first is this helmet. And then it's this rifle. It is a Stare Aug, very famous gun in Austria. And also here, the bullhorn. Without this bullhorn, he cannot be caught. Bullhorn. All right, and last but not least is this backpack. It is one of the coolest accessories in the G.I. Joe line. All right, so here is bullhorn. It is a very cool figure and also with lots of beautiful and detailed accessories. And if you like today's video, please press like and subscribe to my channel. And because you're like and subscribe is my future motivation to make more of these videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.